going on everybody? Today we're going to look at the axe system. Do kind of what we did for the die rise platform and just talk about the things that you need to do to maintain your marker and have it work every time you go play. So this video will work for the X, the Mini, the Mini GS, the X Pro, the original, the X 2.0, the new X Pro, and the 6. Let's start by talking about the function of the marker here. So. High pressure air is fed into this portion of the gun, which is the regulator and ASA. The 2.0 doesn't have a gauge on it, but you can know you're at, at the right pressure by having this set screw flush with the housing. It's about 200 PSI. High pressure air comes in here, is regulated. There's a giant transfer tube. There's a portion attached to the regulator. There's a portion that attaches to the body, and those meet in the center here. The solenoid is a pulse solenoid, so when you fire the gun or you trip the micro switch, you send a burst of air this way. And I will show you that right now. If you can see it, actually. Might be able to. Right back in there, right where that lip is the big port and that lines up in between these two o-rings right here what happens is you get that burst of air between these two o-rings here it pushes on the back cup portion of your poppet and shoves it back knocks it back, opening up your poppet face and letting air move your bolt forward and fire the gun. So that will help you understand, hopefully if you're getting a leak somewhere in the body, if you're not getting any pressure to your gun where it stops, um, or if you're getting some shoot down issues, what's going on with your marker. So, what do you need to lubricate? You have the bolt that's moving, which is an integral part of the system, but then you also have this poppet face, which is also an integral part. So let's do our maintenance here. This is all it takes. Every time you play, you wipe off the bolt guide. Wipe off the bolt. Three thirty seconds Allen key. And pull out. There's a spring in there. Also get one of these fat Allen keys and just This is the bolt guide back cap. This is all one piece, nothing else comes apart. This is your poppet face. The poppet face is replaceable. If you're getting a leak down the barrel, this is where it is. This spring sits inside there. You want to inspect those so there's no scratches, gouges, no wear on it. And 
everything gets loop. This can just, just go right back in. Make sure the spring is there. Uh, there's one O-ring on the velocity adjuster. that's lined up and then you're not um, messing with the spring or it's not so this goes in and then it comes out three quarter turn move your bolt one by o-rings on here make sure you put the spring on the correct way no click click that's it every time you play if you do that functioning gun. So let's talk about velocity in the axe. You set the regulator to 200 psi approximately. Uh, if you have an axe with a gauge on it, it's a little more helpful. If you have the axe 2.0, this just comes flush with the body. This is actually in a little too far. Pull that out a touch. And then you have the plus and the minus on the back cap here. So if you are if you are increasing the velocity, that means you are backing the cap out, which means that you're giving the poppet more room to open. Let's actually pull this out. giving the poppet more time open. That's able to go further back, allowing more air out, which gives you a higher velocity. If you are closing this off, you're putting the cap down, you are tightening the amount of time that that's opening and the amount of air that's getting through the poppet face, shooting the ball downrange. That's it.